All right, good morning, guys. So today is our day at Coco K. Um, we are trying to rush, so instead of doing the main dining this morning for breakfast, we came up to the buffet. We've got Lexi eating some eggs over there. Well, currently has a pacifier, but was eating eggs. Me, I got literally all protein, smoked salmon, um, egg and ham omelet, sausage, bacon, more egg. Did grab some cream cheese to put with the smoked salmon. Yum. So, and Logan is um, putting Cheerios into his uh, bulldozer and he's gonna maybe move it to the dump truck next and then into his mouth. Whatever it takes to get him to eat. <laughs> and then wait, 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 Logan, now you have to open your mouth. <laughs> Put your mouth up. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. <laughs> you get some. <laughs> Look at me. I love Popeye. Ah. Who says you need a spoon for cereal <laughs> when you got a dump truck? All right, so we're walking up right now to Coco K. A uh, perfect day at Coco K. Um, I don't really know the plan. I don't know the layout of the island. I hope there's a map. Tried finding one on the app. There wasn't one on there. Um, so yeah, the first main thing is trying to find a spot, I guess, to set up. Yeah. We want like a cool spot by the beach. Get um, I heard a reference from someone saying to head to the back of the island, not like the first beach you get to, but like further back, it's a little more private. So behind me right there, that's the entrance to the Thrill Water Park. We are not doing that. That's an extra expense. So uh, we are gonna do just a normal chill hangout day at the beach pretty much. And like this stuff is free, the like little water play area for kids. Ooh, maps. All right, so um, just stopped real quick at this Captain Jack's Shack. Cool little bar place right here. Um, just got a map. So we are going to figure out where we're gonna go. Uh, the lady right at the entrance there was handing out maps of the park, or island, I should say. So, yeah, check out this little bar there. It's really cool. <laughs> they have these swings here. Bar, nice shade area. <laughs> Those look like they would be a lot of fun. After a few margaritas, for sure. So yeah, as we're walking, there's a lot of cool stuff. This island's way bigger than I thought. Of course, there's two ships here with us today. Um, so we want to get as close to the beach as possible. One of the more maybe quieter beaches, even though I think they're all going to be pretty busy today. Um, seems like South Beach might be the best option. Um, here is the Oasis Lagoon. The problem we have is this pathway only goes so far and we have a stroller. So keep that in mind, because um, we are somewhat limited to where we can go with the stroller. So we may have to park the stroller and then move the rest of our stuff yeah. um, farther down if we want to get closer no, to the actual beach itself. This is the entrance to South Beach. I'm actually getting like Discovery Cove vibes a little bit. This is really cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so we finally made it to South Beach. It was a little bit of a struggle getting the stroller all the way here. Um, you could literally see right there the stroller tracks. Um, hard sand most of the way here. Super easy to push the stroller and navigate through. Soft sand, that's where it was a pain in the butt, especially this last part. I had to turn the stroller around backwards and pull it. So FYI, but we did want to get the stroller here because all of our stuff is stored down below all of lexi's supplies extra diapers um stuff we need for her and some of logan's toys um so yeah the convenience of a stroller but also the pain in the butt of pushing the stroller through the sand but here we are this is south beach on the back part of the island um looks really nice 
nice palm trees feels very caribbean and also most of the chairs you do have umbrellas and everything to go along with it which is super nice and convenient and logan is already playing in the sand with lexi <laughs> oh she lost her hair <laughs> he wants to get water for his truck. we're on the beach now you can see it gets pretty crowded here Got Logan throwing sand at everyone. <laughs> and Lexi's trying to eat the sand. The <laughs> evidence is on her face. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Yeah, we'll probably just chill here for a little bit. It's really nice out. Water's a little chilly, but once you get swimming, um, it's good. I did notice um, there's a lot of like jellyfish way out in the water. I had the goggles on. Um, they're like the floor jellyfish with the tentacles sticking up. So uh, FYI, you may want to wear like water shoes or something if you come down here. <laughs> but Logan is having way too much fun with the sand. Remember, just make sure no one's walking by when you throw it. <laughs> Lexi, the sand is not food. No, it's not. <laughs> just... <laughs> sandbar out there we're at South Beach right now I'm gonna take the goggles with the GoPro and uh, see if I can actually see anything out there I don't know it was a little foggy earlier but that was closer to shore so uh, we'll see what happens yeah, right here. Right here. I saw that. I'm actually at the sandbar just straight out from South Beach here. In between, there's the floating cabanas here you can rent out, which is super cool. And there's a floating bar on this side. Um, yeah, there's a, it gets super shallow as you can see. Um, I just had an encounter with, and you guys just saw it, a, uh, I think it was a southern stingray. <laughs> pretty, pretty large, super cool. Um, had a nice long stinger on the back of it, you can see. Um, or um, I forgot what the name of it is. It's not the tail, but you know, the part that actually like, stings you, the smaller part, but it was pretty long on that one. Um, anyways, yeah, and the guy that I was just talking to out here, he said he stayed in the cabana last time I actually saw a shark out here, so that's why I got it. Now I'm gonna go meet up with them at the Snack Shack right off of South Beach. I guess it's just a little grab-and-go uh, snack area. Um, I saw a sign for a nature trail too, the cove or something. Uh, let me check that out. One girl said there are iguanas on the island, so I really want to find an iguana. Yeah. So yeah, this is a little uh, snack, sta s snack shack station over here. Just grab and go with some sandwiches, salads, desserts, some fresh fruit. Um, so yeah, FYI, I saw uh, there's like a nature trail over there. I think we should walk down there and see if we see anything cool. I really want to find an iguana. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Logan, do you want to walk on the nature trail and try to find an iguana? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. They do like to climb in trees.
What do you get? Uh, taco, this is chicken and pork. And then I got for her the rice and beans and... Um, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of this. Guacamole. <laughs> Guacamole. <laughs> Corn on the cob and this is a ribeye sandwich. And yeah. So. Someone's happy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, behind me here is the main uh, skipper's grill. This is like the main, just buffet style, um, standard island food. So uh, yeah, gonna go ahead and uh, dig in. Thanks for the tacos. Well, I got, I mean, one for me yeah. and one for you. Question, were they chicken tacos? Yeah, that's the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder where they, yeah, the source. they, uh, source their chicken from. <laughs> All right, right now, Logan and I, and Mommy and Lexi, are at the Oasis Lagoon. This is apparently the place to hang uh, after the beach and everything. So this is a freshwater pool here. Water is super chilly, but, and this place is packed. <laughs> Check it out. They got a bar over there in the distance. Got a DJ with music pumping. And it's a uh, zero depth entry here. So uh, it's good for a uh, little Lexi to crawl in the shallow end. <laughs> as long as uh, Priscilla's with her. So we just are wrapping up our day at Coco Cay. Um, we had a pretty chill day, nothing yeah, too crazy. Uh, just really checked out, obviously the beach, the kids areas, and then kind of finished up at the Oasis Lagoon. Let me tell you though, um, that lagoon me and Logan went down, uh, where the DJ music is and everything, it is like spring break, like, it felt like a Miami or Las Vegas pool party going on. All right, guys. So we are obviously back in the room. So we finished our day at Coco Cay. Um, yeah, had a good time. Overall thoughts? I think it's really cool, but I think one day it's not enough maybe to yeah. do everything on the island, especially with the kids. Um, we did what we could. I think it was, it was yeah. good for them. I felt like it went by really fast. Yeah, it went I by mean, fast. Especially with the beach, I could just in, you know, a beach is a beach, but I could spend the whole day there. Um, especially, so that's obviously where we started. We got a nice spot there um, on the South Beach side. Oh wait, point of information. I was talking earlier about trying to figure out like a map. We got to the front of the, the entrance of Coco Cay and there's a lady there handing out maps and they had maps around the park, but I should have checked this earlier on the actual uh, phone app. You can just click on, so here's today, and it shows perfect day at Coco Cay, and if you click on map, there you go. An entire map <laughs> of Coco Cay right there, which I should have known better. And it, in case you guys didn't know this, it also shows you like helpful tips and all the different activities and shore excursions and everything you can do right there from the app as well. And you can reserve your spot if it works. Um, and that's just uh, Lexi playing. Don't squish your hands again. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, there was like plenty of uh, uh, tower stations and snacks. Uh, yep. bar, snack bars like all around the island yeah everywhere you walk there yeah, it was easy restrooms. access to restrooms yeah snacks yeah. plenty of chairs and umbrellas so allure of the seas and liberty of the seas both of those ships both big ships especially of course ours allure were there at the same time the island felt like busy but i wouldn't say crowded because yeah. we didn't have to wait to get food at no, all no. Um, it didn't feel, it, it felt still somewhat spacious. And apparently I saw that their up, 
I'm adding a whole new section to the island called Hideaway Beach. I guess it's adults only, but you can only do that if you have the day pass with the theme park and everything. I guess that's the plan with that, but it wasn't open yet. Um, but anyways, I mean, we had a great time, did the beach. I went snorkeling. I could spend a whole day just snorkeling, especially if you can go out in the water and actually see stuff. Um, there's a little sandbar, like I showed you guys, right out from uh, South Beach. Um, and yeah, I saw the stingray, saw some other fish swimming around, a lot of little jellyfish. So I recommend wearing um, water shoes. Um, and yeah, I wish we had more time um, or come back maybe without the kids um, <laughs> or something because they had like the cool like floating bar out there I would have liked to check out and uh, just a bunch of other stuff. Um, floating but, mats. Remember? Yeah, they had like these anchored floating mats that you could just like jump onto and like relax on. There's usually someone on them though. Um, but yeah, so we did that. We checked out the water kids area was super cool. Um, of course, all the flooring there is rubber. So uh, like Lexi was able to just crawl right on that. Um, and they had a good time. There's a little pirate ship for them too. And little kids water slides. And then just the pool itself. It's nice that yeah. they have a freshwater lagoon pool. And you wanted to say something on strollers. Yeah, also uh, we were not sure about bringing the stroller to the island because we were like, how are we gonna navigate through it with you know all the sand? It was not easy at some points, but it would be way harder without it because we had all the bags and the kids. So, uh, and there was plenty of people with strollers. And yeah. uh, so it, 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 was, it was good. It was definitely worth having it. Yeah, Difficult yeah. to push at times, but definitely worth it for us. Um, but yeah, so I think that wraps up our day at Coco K. So if you haven't yet, I'm Brian. I'm Priscilla. And our YouTube channel is just family fun vacations, giving you guys tips and advice from our own experience and or failures. Um, so that's what we do. We're not experts in any way. Logan is adding Can more to the video. You want to see more? Oh, you want to see more? Good. <laughs> he likes them quesadillas. All right. So anyways, subscribe to the channel, click that notifications bell, and make sure to stay tuned because we're going to upload our last day of Allure of the Seas pretty soon. So anyways, we will see you guys next time. Say bye. 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 <laughs>